Um, Craig, uh, Lincoln on Monday, it was a pain, another painful afternoon. Are, are you over it yet? Just about. Um, it was a difficult afternoon for everybody. Um, disappointing because we the performance we gave Saturday, um, in contrast to the one on Monday, was you know it was, it was like two different teams, a different world. Um, the big thing that hurt me more than anything else was, you know, that in this current climate, we've got people travelling down there paying good money uh, to come and watch a team at least put a fight up. And, and on Monday, you know, I felt we didn't quite do that. But when you reflect on things and you look back, you know, there's. I'm always going to defend my players because I think they've been brilliant for the for the football club over the last few months, despite not getting many breaks. And to ask a lot of them to play two games in three days is, is sort of undoable because you've got a lot of players, uh, some coming to the end of their careers, young lads who are, who are starting out. So Lincoln had the the luxury of, of resting or sort of adjusting their squad and changing four or five. We couldn't. And you know when I've sat back and reflected on things, I was probably a tad harsh, but. You know, when you get beat five 0 it's it isn't it isn't easy to come out smiling and, and be and be praising people. So it's just a case of moving on to the next one um, and and hoping for an improved performance. Yeah, if we don't get an improved performance, I'll be bitterly disappointed. Uh, I think the lads were as upset as I was after the game. Um, we got a chance to put that right against Bath on on Saturday. I think people look at the table and think it's. Probably our best chance of winning the game before the season ends. But you know, I've, I watched them against Gateshead a couple of weeks ago, and and they're not probably as bad as their league position suggests. So it's not going to be easy. But you know, again, if they give me, you know, everything they've got in terms of effort and work rates, you know, hopefully we'll be all right. What's the mindset? I mean, obviously relegation is inevitable. Do you just want to get it mathematically? done and then it's done and dusted and just to the end of the season then? No, I want to delay it as long as possible. I was lying in bed sort of this morning thinking if we could win Saturday and win Tuesday, you know, we possibly still not, might not be down going into the final two games. So we're going to try and delay it as long as we possibly can. Um, but we know it's going to happen. I think everybody knows it's going to happen. We've got to be realistic about it. Um, what I've said to the boys, uh, they're playing now for their own futures as well as the football clubs because we've got to keep I keep trying to keep the interest alive in the football club because you know it needs the interest needs to be there for people to come in and, and something the cash up there to keep us going, and, and obviously they're playing for the they're playing for the futures whether it's a, a Darlington football club or elsewhere. They're playing for the futures as well. well I mean, where do, where do you stand? There's a lot of thinking time to be done in the summer, and, and we don't know where the football club will be on and off the field. But where do you stand at this moment in time? Um, I've had discussions uh, with various people um, what I've said to the to obviously the interim board coming in and, and the football club and obviously Harvey the administrators I'll get the season out of the way here because I think I, I owe it um, probably to to the supporters and myself um, to do that before I start sort of looking at where my future lies uh, which I've stated on many occasions I see it in youth development I still do see it in youth development um, so I, it won't be won't be manager of Darton Football Club next year, that's for certain. And you know I, I will I, well I'd like to think I'll get I'll get an offer or two and but you know the, this club means an awful lot to me and if, if obviously there's something in, in terms of, of youth development in this club it's something I'll seriously consider but you know we've got to be mindful of the fact that there's an awful lot of money got to be found to at first team level. Um, so to, to raise the money at youth team level is going to be difficult. So you know I've got to I've got a busy month in May coming up. You know, people think once April the twenty eighth comes, that'll be the end of it, but it won't because I've got an awful lot of planning and, and preparing to do for for the youth team boys and, and the centre excellent boys and anything. Just back to the game, Bath are already down. Uh, I mean, what, they've got nothing to lose in a sense either, have they? No, they'll be coming up and you know they'll be playing for their own personal pride, but they'll be probably a lot more relaxed than us um, because you see they're down and their fate's already sealed so they'll come and they'll just try and enjoy enjoy the day because they're playing at a, obviously a magnificent stadium for this level of football so they'll come and enjoy it they'll be relaxed so it'll certainly, it certainly won't be easy and anybody who who's coming to the game on Saturday thinks it's going to be a, a walk in the park you know they're going to get a, a shock and that'll, that's not just the, the supporters that's the players as well you had injury problems, as we know, which hasn't helped everything. What's the situation there? Uh, we've lost, obviously, Paul Johnson with suspension. Uh, Paul Arneson should hopefully be fit to, to start the game, so he'll come back into the side. Um, not going to have a full bench, but I think we'll, we'll, we'll at least have three or four. So, you know, we, we'll be as strong as we possibly can be and have been for weeks. 
Graham Lee's been talking about his his future because obviously he's one, as you mentioned earlier, who's coming to the end of his career, and he says that he'd like to get into coaching. He's enjoyed working alongside you. How important has it been for you to have him? Yeah, it's been great because yeah, up until when I first started out, the first few months, it was just me doing everything, and obviously when Graham's sort of operation and injury come round, you know, it was. It was probably the natural progression for him to come and, and stand alongside me and work alongside me, and he's been a, a big help. Um, he's obviously he's took uh, some of the work off me, which is which I'm entirely grateful for. And he'll obviously have um, gained a lot of experience from this because what I keep saying is, you know, will not will not certainly go through this again in your career, and, and obviously Graham won't neither. So you know, you'll, you'll have gained valuable experience. He's been a big help to me, and I'm sure he'll have a big future in, in coaching or management, whichever way he goes. And after what he has been through and you've been through in the last few months, any advice for him specifically? Don't go into management. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he's got his own, he'll have his own ideas of where he sees his career. Um, I, I've obviously got mine and his will possibly be slightly different, but um, whatever he does, I, I think he'll be a success in it. Thanks.